What's up guys, Sal here with another guide for you. This is going to be on all the raptor companion pets apart from two. The other two are going to be covered in separate guides. The first one we're going to cover is the darting hatchling. And this is found in Dustwaller Marsh. Now there will be maps contained in the description to show the exact points of the nest spawns thanks to Wowhead. But I'm going to briefly cover them all anyway. So the first one is the darting hatchling as I said and this is in the north. And here you'll find a load of raptors and this is the darting hatchling is found from a nest. Now the nest isn't always up, you're going to have to camp it or watch for it to spawn. It does have different spawn locations which I'm showing you on the map now. And you're just going to have to check all these different spawn locations and hope that it's there and just keep checking back. So as I said there will be a map below in the description for each one in case you're struggling to see from my map coordinates. Next up is the Deviant Hatchling, and this is found in Wailing Caverns, which is in the Barrens, the North Barrens. You can only get it from here, and it is a low drop rate from the Deviant Dinosaurs in here, the Deviant Raptors. So, the best bet is to just clear the Raptors, I think there's a total of between 25 to 30 Raptors in here. And it comes from the Deviant Ravager, or the Deviant Guardian. Just kill out all these, and you'll just have to run out, reset the dungeon, come back in and keep clearing them until you get it. Uh, get it. There is deviate dinosaurs outside of Wailing Caverns that aren't elite, but they don't drop it. It's only the elite ones inside the actual dungeon that have the chance of dropping it. Remember, you will be locked out after a couple of runs due to only being able to do so many runs in a short period of time. So you will have to wait a while to do more than sort of four or five runs, depending on how quick you are. But you sh at level 85, you should clear through this in about five minutes. Next up is the Leaping Hatchling, and similar to the Darting Hatchling, this is contained from a nest. This is in the Barrens to the north, kind of near Orgrimmar, to the left of Orgrimmar, as you can see here. And there will be a total of four spawn points for the nest. Now this is quite a common one, I usually spend a lot of time flying in Barrens, especially if people see me on my previous videos and on my stream. I spend a lot of times in the Barrens and I find this quite frequently. So you shouldn't have too much trouble finding this. Once again, there will be a map in the description below if you need a more accurate, basically, location for each of the nests. But this is the, the rough coordinates of each nest. And there's one of the eggs. So that's what it looks like. You basically just click on it and loot the egg. Or loot the, the hatchling. And it'll just be the pet. The next one up is the Ravasaur hatchling. And that one looks pretty mean in the picture. This is from Ungoro Crater and similar to the Leaping and the Darting Hatchling, this is contained in nests. So you'll have to keep an eye out for the nests and try and find it. Now they're, they're all pretty much in the east of Ungoro Crater as you can see on the map there. That's sort of the rough area for all the nests, but I am going to quickly fly around and show you each specific nest. Now once again there will be a map in the description showing you the exact spawn points and coordinates from Wowhead if you need basically a more accurate look at the nests but this what I'm showing you now is pretty much every single nest covered from Wowhead. The next dino to cover is the Razormore Hatchling and this is found in the wetlands in a cave there's only one spot for it. If you come to the wetlands you can see the cave that I'm at now which is the Raptor Ridge. Inside the cave there will be sort of a peak there we go and basically on this little peak you'll find the nest. This is the only place in the cave that the nest can spawn so if you're looking for this one specifically you only have to camp in one place. And now on to the next one. The next one is the Razashi Hatchling and this used to be from Zulgrub which was the basically the raid dungeon. But that's been changed now into a five man heroic for Cataclysm, so along with that the pet and the two mounts available from there were removed, but they've been brought back with the dungeon. So to get this pet you basically need to kill any mob in Stranglethorn, whatever you want, pretty much every single mob has a chance of dropping the pet, but it is a one in 1000. So the best bet is to pick a nice spot that's got a lot of mobs that have sort of a, a quickish respawn and just keep grinding the crap out of them, that's the only way you're going to get the pet, there's no easy way basically. Now there is a pet very similar to this called the Lashtail Hatchling, but I will be covering that in a separate guide as it is a bit longer to get, it does require a crest chain. But yeah, one in the 1000, good luck. Now we're off to Northrend for the Gundrak Hatchling. 
And this once again is a 1 in 1000 drop chance from the raptors in Zuldrak. It's pretty much all the raptors are grouped up just outside Gundrak, so run round and kill them all. It is a 1 in 1000 drop chance again, so it's going to take you quite a while unless you're quite lucky. And now for the easiest of the 8 raptors we've covered, which is the obsidian hatchling. This is basically just bought from the shop in Dalaran, there's a pet shop, you can pick it up for 50g before guild perks. And a quick note is that all the pets covered in this guide are tradable, so you can sell them, you can keep them for 5.0 for the pet Pokemon battles. And yeah, so I hope you have good luck getting the pets. There are two that I missed, which is the Lashtail and the uh, Fossilized Raptor, as I said they'll be covered in another guide. Thanks for watching, don't forget to thumbs, fave and subscribe if this guide helped you out. Look out for more guides coming soon, see ya!